Here we're going to look at the Web Abacus Traffic Visualization Report. This is a live demo and can be accessed at demo.webabacus.com. You'll see a login screen similar to this. Clicking on the login button, we're going to enter the username designer space store. And the password is simply password all lowercase. You then log in and go to the default report, which is a summary report showing the top line metrics in this case. Over on the left hand side, we've got a series of reports clustered up into report menus as shown here. We're going to click on the e commerce section, and then we're going to click on the traffic visualization report. The traffic visualization looks to cluster up all of the traffic on the website into defined areas that can be configured within the report. Here we have a series of nodes representing the different top line navigation areas of the website. The size of the node, such as the catalog area here, represents the total number of page impressions as defined along here by the node size. You'll notice that the node itself is actually depicted as a pie chart and here it's showing the actual content and region that the user has come from. But we can configure that using this drop down to maybe show the marketing source for visitors coming to that area. Additionally to this, the lines between each node represent the volume of traffic. The thick of the line, the greater the volume of traffic. So we can see between checkouts and missing pages, it's quite a thin line, in comparison to catalogue and registration, where the line is much thicker. Finally, the actual lines are colour coded to give you an idea of the direction of the traffic. Between other and checkouts, as we can see here, there's a far higher degree of green than there is of blue, indicating that the predominant direction is from the checkout through to the other section rather than other through to checkout. You can hover over the lines and you'll be given the detail in terms of the number of clicks moving through there. Now this is a 3D tool, enabling you to spin this round and see in a bit more detail exactly what's going on. But I'll take this a bit further. The structural view enables you to create a ball of content so I may want to add in the second level navigation as well. As you can see here, the traffic becomes much more like a ball of content and can be a little confusing as to what's going on. So we provide a thresholds tab to click on this, but there's a traffic and some own in terms of the structure of the website. This makes it quite easy to understand what are the top areas that people are viewing in the website and here we've got a much better understanding of where people are going and how they're navigating. However, typically you may want to look at an actual path of content. So here if we take the home page as an example, I'm going to right click on this and I get a little menu popping up and I'm going to analyse how people have navigated from the home page. So what I've done now, I've moved on to the second tab by clicking on this, and we have the home page as the starting point, and then all of the other nodes of content are displayed around this, and the size of them represents, of this number of views, what's happened next. So if I spin that round slightly, you can see that predominantly, visitors are exiting of this page, they're not continuing. But we have got a series of other nodes where people are moving through. So let's take two of these descriptions and brands. Descriptions over here, you can right click on and I can show the children for that node and maybe I want to do the same for brands as well. And I can see the two fans going off from this, so people coming from the home page, then to brands, what are they doing next, or going from the home page to descriptions, what's happening. And I can spin this round to get a better view of that traffic. Equally, I may just decide that I want to concentrate on um, brands for now. So I can right click on that one and I can hide the peers. So I'm now just concentrating on the brands. If I press the shift key and the left mouse key, I can move this across to give me a bit more space. And if I hold the left key mouse key down, I can just zoom straight in to again give me a bit more space here. Now we can see from people going from the home page to brands that there are a lot of people exiting at this point, 85 to be precise. I've got descriptions up here, 122. 
If I right click on descriptions, I can then show the children for this one and I can continue this right the way down for as much as I would like. And this gives you the idea of being able to see where people have come from, what do they do. So let's look, take another example now. I'm going to go to the structure tab and I'm going to just reset this back to the beginning. So I want to look at how people have arrived at the checkout. If I right click on this, I can look at the analysed access to that particular page. So whereas before I was looking at how people, what people were doing from the home page, now I'm looking to see how people arrived at the checkout. So here we've got 158 um, views on this, of which five entered at this point, but the predominant direction came from the review basket. Now the nodes are a little difficult to see here, so I'm going to click on the geometry tab, I'm just going to increase the nose size so I can see in a bit more detail. Spin this round slightly and then right click on the review basket, show the children to this one, again spin round and I can see people going to the review basket and what were they doing up here. I want to concentrate on that so I'm just going to hide the peers of this one, move this round with the shift key, rotate slightly and I can see it's add to basket so it's the predominant direction. Right click, show the children to this one, and hide the peers. Maybe zoom in a little here. Rotate round, and I can see that actually descriptions have been a popular area. So how people arrived there, show the children. And again, you can get the idea of how people are navigating to the site. You can save all of this off if you want, so that on a day to day basis you can come back and just see the values changing for explicitly what you want. That concludes this demonstration, but if you want more details, please contact us on the details below.